Welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Ribat Sapradhan. In this video, I will discuss about cloud application integration process as a webhook in Twilio. Prerequisites are basic understanding of uh, Informatica Intelligent Cloud Service IACS. You need to have a basic understanding of how you can create a process in application integration. Also, you will need a Twilio account and a WhatsApp account. Agenda of this video are introduction to Twilio and Webhook, communication between Twilio and Webhook, commonly faced issue, and demo. At the end of this video, you will be able to explain what is Twilio, what is a Webhook, and you will be able to send a message from your WhatsApp number to Twilio number and get a customized response back. Twilio is a platform that enables phones or VoIP messaging to be embedded into web, desktop, and mobile software. Use case of uh, this platform are sending weather report through a text message every morning, responding to the customer request in real time through a text or voice message. A webhook, also called a web callback or HTTP push API, is a way for an app to provide other applications with real-time information. A webhook delivers data to other applications as it happens, meaning you get data immediately. Now we'll discuss about how the communication happens between Twilio and webhook. When a message is sent from your messaging client or WhatsApp to a Twilio number, it will in turn send a HTTP request uh, to the configured webhook URL. Your app will then consume that message and form a customized uh, response in a predefined format and send it to Twilio. Twilio will pass that message and send that message back to the number from where it received. Let's discuss about what are the commonly faced issues. You will see an error as 11200 in Twilio console under monitor errors error logs. Uh, this is a common issue and uh, it could have various reasons. I'll discuss about one specific one. When you click on that error and scroll down, uh, you will see request inspector under that you can expand response and body and you will see message as extra as you can see in the figure you see extra as api version sms id sms status uh, these are uh, the fields uh, that is uh, sent by uh, twilio but uh, are not configured in the uh, ca process that's why this uh, error comes to resolve this issue uh, you can create uh, these fields uh, that is API version, SMS SID, etc. Uh, as input fields of type text in your cloud application integration and republish the process. Let's jump on to the demo. In this demo, I will demonstrate uh, how you can integrate cloud application integration process uh, with Twilio. Log into IACS, choose application integration from the available services create a new process i have already created one i will just explain what are the important uh, things you need to take care in the process on the start uh, under general give a suitable name to your process click on start under binding make sure it is rest or show uh, then uh, make sure uh, you uh, check allow anonymous and run on cloud server input fields so these are the different uh, input fields you need to configure and uh, these you can find uh, in the Twilio documentation for whatsapp output fields uh, add output fields uh, and uh, you can give any name any suitable name in this case out make sure you have uh, chosen whole payload and the type as attachment I have created one temporary field temp message of type text add an assignment step and in that assignment step uh, make sure you add the temporary field temp message and uh, the assigned using content 
uh, in the content you need to add a response the row uh, in this format and here uh, the response uh, tag and uh, message tags are predefined uh, tags uh, and they are case sensitive and uh, uh, so they have special meanings as uh, so response with r capital and uh, r small are different and might give you error if you want to add any message then you can add uh, them in between opening and closing message tag after that add another assignment step and uh, add your output field assigned using formula and you have to use this formula Here, there are two important functions used, Base64 encode and create attachment from Base64. Base64 encode function takes uh, the message. Uh, in this case, uh, it can accept text or XML. Uh, and uh, temp message is of type text. And um, uh, the after that, you need to add the uh, type of encoding in this case UTF-8 the create attachment from B64 will create uh, uh, one attachment and the first argument um, in this case test.xml uh, is the name of the attachment and uh, you can give any name after that it takes uh, the B64 encoded uh, string and then the last one is the important one uh, that is uh, text last XML is the content type of that attachment. Uh, Twilio will accept uh, some predefined uh, content type. Uh, make sure uh, the content type is one such. After that, uh, after you have uh, completed uh, uh, configuring your process, click on save, click on publish. After that, uh, click on properties details, copy the service URL, then make sure it is successful once. If it succeeds, uh, then you can log into twilio.com, click on login, give your username. So after you have entered your username and password, you will see the uh, Twilio console under develop uh, you need to click on messaging then go to try out then click on send a whatsapp message send a whatsapp message from your register mobile number to the Twilio whatsapp number here and the message will be joined ledger easily then you will see message received click on next the next two way messaging then send a, another message you can send hi then you can send reply then here you can configure what the message you want to send I'll say it as a Twilio then click on make request you will receive the message click on next under the sandbox configuration when message comes in you can enter the URL that your uh, process and paste it here and you can scroll down click on save you can send another message uh, from your mobile whatsapp number you will receive the message uh, that you have configured in the process in this case uh, the robots are coming uh, head for the heels you can uh, verify the same under monitor go to logs messaging if you hover over you will see the message also if any error occurs then you can go to errors error logs then click on the error we have already discussed this error error 11200 if you scroll down on the request inspector you will be able to see that the error message in this case under response you see the extra so these are the fields you need to add to your process to resolve this error this ends the video we would love to hear from you you can post your queries at support videos at the informatica.com we are also in twitter you can follow us at twitter.com slash infrasupport thank you